Good morning from the soggy backwoods of Florida. I've been asked by a few of you fine folks out there if I could do a video on how I change the strings on a three string cigar box guitar. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to take these strings off, put new strings on it, tune it up and intonate it so it sounds real purdy. So let's get to it. Now since this video is going to be shot outside, don't be alarmed if you hear uh, roosters crowing. Because right there, in that little pen right there, there's four roosters and a few hens in there. Young ones that we hatched inside our house in an incubator. So they all tried to crow at the same time and see who crows the best. One of them crows really good. One sounds like it has, well, laryngitis, but you'll probably hear him. So don't be alarmed. That's what happens out here in the backwoods. The guitar I'm going to be changing the strings on is this one here. It is number 362 and was made on January 2022. Right now I'm up to number 551, which I just finished a few days ago. If you'd like to see the guitars I have currently available, check out my website at southernfireguitars.com. You can also subscribe to my mailing list, which means I'll shoot you an email out every time I post a new batch. Now this guitar is on a 25 inch scale length. Not that that matters when you're changing the strings. Now the string gauges are 40, 30, 22, and we are gonna be changing the string gauge on here as well. And I'll let you know what the strings are once we put them on. Now before we get started, I need to ask you one thing. Please click on the subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell so they notify you every time I post one of these fine quality videos. All right, let's get started. Now what I'm gonna do here first is take these strings off the guitar. Now, these strings are actually pretty good even though they're kind of old, but they still look real good. I will keep these strings uh, for a spare if I ever break one on another guitar of mine. I'll just I'll use one of these strings. So what I'm gonna do is take these off. Now if your strings are really bad, you could loosen them up a little bit here and you could just cut them off and then take the strings off. But I'm gonna unwind each one and take them off. Now on my guitars, my bridge down here is a, let me move it a little closer, is a floating bridge so it's not attached to the box ever so you could adjust your intonation. So you just want to watch that when you take it off. Take all your strings off. There's one. There's two, and the last one. Now with this particular guitar here, the nut is this little screw right here, so I'm gonna take that off, put that over here, and down here is my bridge which is just sitting there I'm gonna take that off as well now a good thing to do or what I do is once I have everything off it's a good time to clean all your frets clean all the dust around here and just clean the top of the guitar now what I'm gonna do is take one of these little fret protectors here I put some painters tape on the back so it don't scratch the fretboard and some steel wool and I'm gonna clean each fret Just like that. Just shine it up a little bit and do every one. That looks good. Get all the dust off everywhere. There they go. That's the good crowing rooster right there. Let's see that crow again. Come on, rooster. That's the good one. 
Now the strings I'm going to be putting on the guitar are these from Southbound String Company, made in America, bound for glory. Medium gauge blues blaster strings, and the gauges are 44, 34, 26, and they're from cbgiddy.com. I agree! <laughs> We're going to start off with the 44 gauge string. So let's unwrap them here. Let's get 44. And this is the tail piece I have, which is a strike plate. I'm just going to feed it in here in the first little hole there and bring it all the way to the headstock. Now, what I do first at the tuning peg area is I make sure all the holes are in line with a straight string pull. So, all these are straight just like that. I'm going to take my low string and feed it into my tuning peg right there. Pull it just like that. Now once I have all the slack out of my bottom string, I go up about two inches and I will snip it off. Now once I snipped it off here, I pull it back to where it's sticking out about eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch from the tuning peg right there. I hold my finger down to keep the string down and then I wind it the direction that I want the string to go. Sometimes you can pull this up a little bit to tighten that up and just tighten it up. And before it's fully tightened I will take my screw which is my nut and put it back in there like that. It's not really that tight. I'm just putting the strings on for now. Now that I have the first string on, it's kind of loose, it's not tight at all, I'm going to go ahead and set the bridge at 25 inches, which is my scale length. Now the 25 inches will be from the center of my nut down here to where the bridge is laid down here, right over that piece of fret wire. So I'm just going to set it under there for now. I'll take my straight edge, put the end right on the nut, and bring this back to 25. Now I don't have to be exactly perfect here because this will have to be adjusted anyway once all the strings are on. Now let's say by some chance you do not know what the scale length is of your instrument. What you would do is you would measure from the nut to the 12th fret. In this case it's 12 and a half inches. Then you double that and that will be your scale length. So 12 and a half times 2 is 25 inches. So now that I have the bridge set at 25 inches, we're going to go ahead and put the rest of the strings on. And you do the same with the rest of the strings. I have it through the uh, tuning peg right there. I got the slack pulled out of it. I'm going to go up about two inches and snip it off. And this is what it looks like down at the headstock once the new strings are on. Now after the strings are on, I tighten them up just a little bit so they're not flapping around a little bit. And then I just take the strings and kind of pull them a little bit, each one. And that will stretch them out some. So it will... Stay tuned a little better. So you give them a little stretch, tighten them up a little bit more. A little stretch. There you go. Okay, I have the strings all on. They're kind of tight. I have the bridge set at 25 inches from the nut because it's a 25 inch scale. Now I'm going to tune the guitar to pitch. I'm going to be tuning it to an open E. Now usually I would use one of these little clip-on tuners and if this is all you have 
that's fine you can use this uh, one of these just make sure that the tuner is set to chromatic scale do not have this set to for tuning for a six string guitar because you'll probably break some strings if you're trying to tune it to an open chord so make sure your tuner is set to chromatic but what I'm going to use for my initial setup when I do set up a guitar for the first time with new strings I'm going to use one of these little plug-in tuners this one here it's a cheap tuner I'll leave a link to it down there in the description and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in here plug the other end into the guitar and we're going to tune it to an open E I'm going to make sure even on this one that this is set on C which is chromatic scale and I'm going to set it to or tune it to an open E okay, there's my E next string is going to be a B There's B. The last string is going to be a high E. You always bring your string down in pitch and then bring it up to pitch when you're tuning. Now these strings are stretching so you'll probably have to do this a few times. E. B. Now that the guitar is in tune, we're going to set the intonation on the guitar, which means the guitar will be in tune all the way up the fretboard. So what you want to do is you want to make sure it's in tune with the open string, which it is, and then we want to make sure it's the same note at the 12th fret. So I'm going to hold down the 12th fret, and you can see it goes that way past the needle, which means we're sharp, which means my bridge has to go back that way slightly so I'm going to move the bridge back just a little bit and every time you touch the bridge you have to retune so let's go back and retune this to E there's E let's check the 12th fret still a little sharp I'm going to bring the bridge back another hair Retune. You're in E there, twelfth fret. That kind of bounces in and out, so I'm going to bring it back just another hair and retune. Okay, it's in on E there and the twelfth fret. So it's in tune open, or at the 12th fret, and then the open position. Now we're going to check the low E string. Which we're going to have to retune that. There's your E. Well, let's do it again. There's E there. Let's check the 12th fret. Looks a little sharp. Eh, it's actually not bad. It jumps up when I hit it, just a hair. Let's try the middle string. That looks pretty good. And there's your open E. Well, that's how you change the strings and do an easy setup on your three-string cigar box guitar. Now, you may have to retune and check your intonation a few times after you put on new strings because they're going to stretch a little bit. I think after putting on those new strings and stretching and tuning and intonating and all that, I think we ought to play this thing and see how it sounds. I'm going to be using my Vox Mini 5 Rhythm Amp. There's the settings on it. Let's play us a tune.
this video let me know by giving it a thumbs up and dropping a comment below. From the backwoods my name's Michael and I'll see you in the next one.